When the Diamondbacks are away, the politicians will play. The annual legislature versus lobbyist softball game puts Arizona lawmakers up to bat against state lobbyists. When lobbyist Mike Williams started the game over a decade ago, it was a charity effort inspired by his everyday life. About 12 years ago, we discovered that my son Joshua had a brain tumor and feeling powerless as a parent, I wanted to do something. So I organized a softball tournament to raise money for the Phoenix Neurological Institute at Phoenix Children's Hospital. Then as I've gotten older, I've kind of like understood, I've kind of like understood and like been a little more thankful for it to, to see that like there's so many kids and so many people who go through cancer and brain tumors every day. Break everything on three. One, two, three. Hosted at Chase Field in early March before social distancing, fans included families, friends, and fellow lawmakers. Democrats and Republicans see the annual game as an opportunity to bridge party lines and unite behind one common goal. We have a lot of folks uh, here. Obviously, it's uh, going to be pretty well represented on both sides of the aisle. And we're all working together with one uh, hope in mind, and that's to beat the crap out of the lobbyists. You have liberal Democrats and very conservative Republicans playing together, all for the cause of being the, the lobbyists. The lobbyists who may be fighting over bills not two hours ago are out here to beat the legislators, and they're going down this year. The legislators are going down. After nine innings and a series of sports shenanigans, the lobbyists came out on top. But politicos, both left and right, can agree after nights like these, the community always wins. Well, we work really hard down at the legislative body, right? We are dealing with very serious issues all the time, and it's very stressful in a lot of ways. Getting all of our members together from the House and the Senate, the R's and the D's and everybody in between is awesome. This is, this is what legislation is all about, getting everybody together. In Phoenix, Danielle Malkin, Cronkite News.